Do you know how to articulate your value in an interview? I'm Jen, a career coach at Indeed, and today I'm going to share some advice on answering a very important interview question. Why should we hire you? In this video, I'll explain how and why employers ask this question, the three pieces of information they're listening for in an answer, and the best strategy for preparing for this question. Make sure to stick around until the end where I'll provide a complete example answer and a common mistake. First, let me explain how and why employers present this question. As for how they ask, employers typically ask this question at the end of an interview, and instead of directly asking, why should we hire you, they may also frame it in one of the following ways. What makes you the best candidate for this position? What can you offer our company that others can't? Why are you a good fit for this role? And how can our team benefit from you joining us? Now, as for why they ask, there are three important pieces of information employers are listening for in a response. They wanna understand your value in terms of your strengths, accomplishments, and qualifications. They wanna see how well you understand what the role is and the needs of the job. And they wanna give you one last opportunity to sell yourself as the best candidate for the position. Remember, they want you to be the best candidate so that they can end their hiring search. Because of these reasons, your answer to this question should address the unique skills and experience you offer in this particular position and why your values align with the companies. So let's talk about how to do that. My first tip for answering the interview question, why should we hire you, is to research the company and study the job description. Now, before we move on, we'd love to hear from you. Is this information helpful? Let us know by liking and subscribing to see more videos like this on our channel. If you've watched our job interview guide, which you can check out right here, you know that the goal of the question and answer portion of an interview is to understand two things. Are you qualified for the role? And do you align with the company's values? This question is no exception. The best way to demonstrate to the employer that you meet those two criteria is to both research the company and study the job posting. When you research the company, you want to learn the company's mission and goals. You want to be able to make a connection between you and the company. So look for any information that will help you explain how you share their values and can ultimately help them accomplish their goals. Starting with the company website, take a look at their about section. Most companies will display their mission statement at the very top of the page, or you may even see a theme repeated throughout the website. So for example, at Indeed, our mission is to help people get jobs. Every person who works at this company supports this mission. So if you were applying for a job at Indeed, you could make a connection to being service-minded and also to listening to your customers and clients to address their needs. And when you review the job posting, look for commonalities between what the company is seeking in the candidate and the qualities, experiences, and skills that you personally possess. Start with reviewing the required skills and experience. Think about three of your own qualities and experiences that match closely with what they have listed. Identifying these in the research phase will help you build talking points for the interview later on. Another important note here, pay special attention to the preferred skills. On a job description, the required skills are the must-haves. They're the minimum requirements. So the preferred skills can be viewed as the nice-to-haves. These are the special qualifications they know not everyone has, but for those that do have them, it would make them even more qualified for the role. If you have any of the preferred skills, be sure to mention those in your response because they're considered icing on the cake and it could help you stand out from other candidates. Now, you might also see the company's mission statement included in the job posting. And this is really common because each role in the company should support the mission in its own way. Start to think about how you've supported a mission like theirs in your previous roles. This is gonna prepare you for tip number two. My next tip for answering the interview question, why should we hire you, is to highlight your proven impact. As you prepare your answer for the question, aim to explain how your experience, skills, and character traits make you the best candidate. Just like when you're drafting a bullet point to include on your resume, you need to do more than just list experience. You wanna provide context and demonstrate impact by quantifying your accomplishments, skills, and experience with numerical data. For example, if you're interviewing for a marketing associate position and one of the preferred skills is working with a particular piece of software, instead of just saying, I have experience working with the software. You would want to share the details of your experience, such as the number of months or years that you've used the software, your level of experience with the software, like if you were a system administrator and you could modify and add new features, and the number of team members that you trained to use the piece of software. 
If you don't have direct experience working with a specific requirement, you can still draw a comparison to a similar qualification. Let's take our software example. Perhaps you never worked with that specific piece of software, but you have experience using a similar one. Speak to how quickly you were able to learn the new system and how frequently you used it. You can still paint a picture for the interviewer of your experience using similar tools and your ability to learn new tools and adapt to new situations, qualities that could still make you a really good fit for the role. The goal is to provide enough context so the interviewer can see that you're qualified for the position. Quantifying accomplishments and experience helps to do that, and this applies to character traits as well. If you're applying for a role that mentions being service-minded, speak to the number of years you supported clients or worked in a customer-facing role. For example, let's say that in your current role, you support customers through an online chat system, and you're applying for a client success position at a new company. You could say, I'm personally driven to leave customers feeling like their concerns have been heard and resolved to the best of my ability. This is evidenced through my 98.7% customer satisfaction rating that I received last month after responding to over 200 customer chats with an average response time of under 90 seconds. In the best case scenario, you can tie a quantifiable impact to your work, but I know that this isn't always possible. In this instance, just focus on the positive outcome. On a resume, a formula that I like to use to show impact in a bullet point is strong verb plus what you did plus reason, outcome, or quantified results. In an interview setting, it would be more along the lines of personal attribute statement, followed by work example with supporting detail, plus positive outcome with quantifiable results when possible. Let's see how that works. Let's say that you're a firefighter candidate. When answering a question like, why should we hire you? You can speak to the personal attributes that would make a successful firefighter. Here's an example. I care about making my community a better place. Over the last few years, I volunteered my time to local food banks and shelters. I feel proud when I can help someone else in need and I've developed relationships with many members of the community because of it. The way that you speak about yourself should align closely with the job description. Identify examples in your work history, education, and training that you can share with your interviewers to illustrate the characteristics and skills that you have that match the characteristics and skills that they're looking for. This leads me to my third tip for answering the interview question, why should we hire you? Speak confidently about what makes you uniquely qualified. In other words, sell it. What sets you apart from other candidates? This is the question that you're really answering when an interviewer asks, why should we hire you? Think back to the research that you conducted on the company and the role in tip number one. The three main points about your skills and experience that you identified in tip number two can be used to create talking points. And this should also remove any self-doubt that you aren't qualified for the role. You've already made connections between yourself and the job. Now you just have to sell it. Do this by being confident. This tip applies to any interviewing situation. You know why you're qualified for the role, so be confident as you speak to it. Confidence builds trust and interviewers want to know that you're trustworthy. Project confidence by making eye contact with the interviewer. Take notice of your posture. Sit up straight with your shoulders back. I always like to imagine that there's an imaginary string at the top of my head that I can pull to correct my posture even further. Project your voice and speak clearly and slowly. Keep your hands steady and avoid fidgeting or using any distracting hand gestures. Body language is just as important in a virtual setting where your face is often all an employer can see. So try to remember to look directly into your camera. This communicates that you're engaged and that you care about what the interviewer has to say. Propping a few books under your computer is a great way to ensure that your camera is at eye height. Now, let's talk about what to do if you're growing or transitioning in your career and don't quite meet all of the qualifications or preferred experience the company is looking for. If you found yourself in an interview, there's something on your resume that attracted the attention of the recruiter. Don't forget that. As you prepare for the interview, take another look at your resume and remind yourself about the transferable skills you have that apply to the role. It's not always about direct experience that gets you a job. Sometimes it comes down to a willingness to learn, proven adaptability, and a positive and confident attitude. In addition to focusing on transferable skills and the exact qualifications that you have, consider explaining how your different or unique background positions you to offer a fresh and valuable perspective. Now that you understand how and why employers ask why should we hire you, and you know how to prepare, let's take a look at an example. If you're a recent graduate, 
You could say, I've recently graduated with a bachelor's degree in communications, and I'm passionate about developing innovative and user-centric email marketing campaigns. My internship as an email marketer for a PR firm equipped me with the experience of creating impactful content in a fast-paced environment. I was able to develop and execute an email campaign that improved engagement rate by 10%. This experience, in addition to the knowledge I gained in school about creating, testing, and managing campaigns to increase sales, improve brand loyalty, and deliver important information to customers, makes me confident that I would be a valuable asset to your email marketing team. If you're a case manager, you could say, you should hire me for this role because of my proven ability to maintain strong interpersonal relationships with several clients. I'm passionate about providing care to those in need in my community, which keeps me motivated and excited about doing my best work. For the last three years, I've managed a caseload of 30 clients. I understand that you need a candidate who can be consistently available for events and clients' lives. I have a 100% attendance rate for weekly case proceedings and meetings for my clients. In addition, I can bring leadership experience to your team, having trained over 15 new hires to become familiar with day-to-day -day operations and to feel comfortable in their new roles. For additional advice on how to answer common interview questions, be sure to check out the video that we have on the topic you can find right here. One of the most common mistakes I see people make when answering this question is speaking about other candidates. And I see how this can happen. When answering why you think you're the best person for the job, it's natural to think about what makes others less qualified. But the purpose of your interview is to present yourself as the best. Use I statements in your answer, and when speaking about unique qualifications or different perspectives that you can offer, let them stand on their own value. It can be especially hard to avoid this when you're applying for an internal position. For example, let's say that you're applying for a promotion for a leadership role, and you know that you have a better rapport with the team than the other person that's interviewing. You don't need to say that outright to make your point. Concentrate on yourself. Focus on sharing how teammates already come to you for guidance. Share how you created a systems training that became part of the onboarding process for new team members. These are the things that you've done that make you uniquely qualified for the role. Let's recap. My tips for answering why should we hire you are research the role and study the job description, highlight your proven impact, Speak confidently about what makes you uniquely qualified and don't speak about other candidates. Focus on yourself. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe down below. And for more tips on interviewing, I recommend checking out this playlist here or watching our video on how to answer another tricky interview question, tell me about yourself, which you can find right here. I hope that you're able to apply these tips to your next interview prep. The ability to present yourself as the best qualified candidate comes down to research, self-awareness, and confidence. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.